Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Miss Wilmoth bought four bags of candies. Each bag contained eight candies. So we've got equal groups because each bag has the same amount. When we're dealing with equal groups, that lets us know it's going to be multiplication or division. And then she put an equal number of candies into each of nine gift boxes. So we've got more equal groups, which means more multiplication and division. But look at this question. We're not asking how many boxes there are. They gave us the nine boxes. We're not even asking how many candies go into each box. We will have to figure that out. We want to know how many candies are left over. So let's see if we can draw a picture to kind of see. So I've got four bags of candy. So here's my four bags. And each bag contained only eight candies. Hope those are big candies because that's not a lot of candies per bag. So I've got eight, four sets of eight. And then she's going to put an equal number of these candies in nine gift boxes. So what we've got to do is we've got to take this. We're just going to draw a little, a little three by three grid here. That's going to help. So here are my nine gift boxes. So we got to take all of these here. And we got to shove them into these equally. We got to figure out what's left over. So if we want, we could add 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, but we also know that that's four groups of 8. So that's going to be 32. So I've got 32 candies, basically, four bags, eight candies each. I've got 32 candies, and I need to put them into these nine gift boxes, but they have to be an equal number. So I need to think 32... Let's go ahead and divide that by 9. And let's see what we get with that. Now, 32 doesn't go uh, evenly divided by 9, so let's use our long division. Does McDonald's sell cheese burgers? That's divide, multiply. These are our steps for long division. Subtract check, and then bring down. So let's, even though it's very small, 9 into 32, it's not a fact, not a basic fact. So let's divide. How many times can 9 go into 32 without going over? Well, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 4 is 36. So 36 is too much, so it's going to have to be 3. 9 goes into 32 only 3 times without going over. 3 times 9, that is going to be 27. Now we're going to subtract 32 minus 27. That's going to be 5. Here's the check part. You need to make sure your difference is smaller than your divisor. So 5 has to be smaller than 9 if it's equal to or greater than 9 you need to change your number up here on your division bar. But it's fine. There's nothing to bring down, which means that's what's left over, is we've got 9 goes 3 times into each of these, this set of 32, and I've got a remainder of 5. Or we can look at it as a fraction, 3 and 5 ninths. When you make a remainder, you re a mixed number, your remainder is your numerator, and your divisor is your denominator. So that means I can split this into 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So all of this right here gets me 27. But remember, I had 32, which means there are going to be these 5 left over. That gets me back to my 32, and that's what I'm looking for, is how many are left over. So my answer is J5.